Okay, well suppose someone gives us a formula and we have to figure out sort of what it looks like. The formula happens to look something like this. x minus 4 squared plus y plus 6 quantity squared equals 49. Actually, I look at that and I say, you know, that sort of has a circle-y kind of feel to it. And what gives it that circle-y kind of feel? Well, what I feel is, well, I see stuff with x's in it squared plus stuff with y's in it squared, and it equals something that's positive. That sort of conjures up the thinking of the formula for a circle, which I remind you looks like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is located at h, k, and the radius is r. So I see that this formula that someone gave me actually looks very much like this general one. So in fact, this must be a circle. So we have a circle. And where is its center? So center, OK, the center would be h, k. So I have to read that off of here. Now we have to be careful because notice it's x minus h and y minus k. So whatever the sign is here, I've got to flip it to actually find the appropriate value for h. So for example, h here is not negative 4, but it's just 4. What about here? Is the, is the y part of the center going to be 6? No, because I have to write this as negative k. This is sort of tricky. So to write 6 plus 6 as negative k, I have to write it as negative, negative 6. Let me write that down so you can see it. What I've got to do here is write that out as y minus minus 6 squared. You see, I have to write it in exactly this form, y, y, minus, minus, number, number. And to make it equal to y plus 6, I need a double minus here. So in fact, the y coordinate of the center of the circle is not going to be 6, but negative 6. Really important fact and a great place where people make mistakes. OK, does everyone see that? So I've got to make sure that I have a minus minus to make that a plus. So the center is at 4 minus 6. And the radius? Well, the radius is not 49. It's the square root of 49, which is 7. And you may say, wait a minute, don't I have to look at plus or minus 7? No, because radius represents a distance. And we always know distance is taken to be positive. So in fact, it's just 7. So in fact, just knowing that, we can sketch a really accurate picture or a pretty accurate picture of what this circle would look like. Let's see if we can try that. Uh, the center would be at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the center of the circle. And the radius is 7. If I know the radius is 7, I can sort of see where it, it's, it sort of shoots up uh, in various directions. Let me just raise this a lot so you can sort of see this. So let's see. Uh, I have to go over 7 units this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to pass through there somehow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to pass through here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to pass through here. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to pass through here. So you can actually sort of roughly sketch I mean, it's sort of rough, but at least you know some points that are on it. And you can see where it crosses the axes. And you get a rough sense of how the circle looks. Very accurate picture, just given the original formula, which I have written over there, you can see. Uh, x minus 4 squared plus y plus 6 squared equals 49. Just given that, I now have a sense of how this thing sits in space, where its center is, and how big it is, just by the formula. And so it's a great. So it's important to realize that just looking at the formula, you can capture and decode all the information, in particular the radius and the center.